the situation that we covered was quite specific. It was when you get stuck in a uh, coil sleeve guard here or misery guard. Now, for this, he's chosen to attack one side of my body here. He's gone across this lapel and he's using his arm and he's stretching me out here. Very bad position. I'm, I'm getting stretched out. He's able to put me in a normal play. He's also put me in a triangle and an armbar if it's all there on, on this arm here. So, I want to try and take this pressure away. So, what he'll also try and do is if he leaves this leg on my hip, I'll be able to attack this and step over because this arm's free, which will take a lot of this pressure off. So what you'll find is a lot of people like this will put their foot in the bicep to also stop that pressure. So I can't step over this leg anymore. So from here, I'm going to get a hold of his pants for sure. And then this hand here, while he's stretching it out, it's not, ne no, not necessary, but getting a grip of the, of, of the cloth here can um, makes you feel confident like your grip's doing something, whereas if your hand's just floating around, it's not really doing anything. If you can get a hold of the collar or a hold of his sleeve back, you can kind of feel like you're doing something. So that's the first step, you know, good base. Grabbing uh, the pants here. Now, I'm gonna fall onto my left hip. Throwing my left foot onto his hip. His arm's in the way, I'll go over his arm. I just need to get this secured on his, on his belly, on his hips, so that I can use this pressure here Put my back and break the grip on the collar and break that grip on the sleeve. Yeah? So I'm using this pressure here, so now that he can't follow me, to break these grips here. Now, one of two things can happen in this situation. One, he's going to accept that I've broken this and he also accepts that I've also fallen back now, so I've half done his sweep. So he's going to try and come up now to finish his sweep. So if he was to come up, he'd finish his sweep. Up. Finish his sweep here. So, if I feel him try to finish his sweep here, I need to make sure that this grip here on his pants, as he starts to come up, I need to match him, pulling this leg up to the roof, pushing him flat on his back. Yeah. So, if I feel him try to get up after breaking those grips, I need to make sure that this foot needs to go up. So, I'll make space. I'll stand up with him, pulling his leg up to the roof to put him flat. Now, if he decides he wants to keep playing guard, so he's staying on his back now, he doesn't want to stand up, he wants to keep playing this guard, I'm going to come up, but I'm going to come up in an advantageous position. So I'm going to make a few adjustments here on the ground before I come up, just so that when I come up, I'm in a good spot. So here, I'm going to switch my grip now, from my right hand to this, to this pants grip, Bring, bringing this foot across my hip, so that now, as I come up, I'm going to come up into a leg drag position here. Yeah. This hand can do a couple of things. For this one, I'm going to reach up, grab the belt. I'm going to use that to pull myself up, and I'm going to stretch him out. So here, I'm going to sit up, coming up on top, stretching him out. Now, I'm pulling his hips close to me. Okay, so it's nice and tight and secure when I come up on top. Back to finish position. But again, I'm going to start here, position getting a hold on the side, using that pressure to break the grips, switching. So if he, if he decides to come up, I'm actually going to put him back. Otherwise here, switching the grips, pulling to the side, going for that belt, coming up, stretching him out, and then finishing in a leg drag position.